I'm here, I'm queer, and it's time for a Metacore video. Insert snazzy intro here, cause I'm not talented enough to create one. Yeah! Hey everybody people, so first off, sorry about my voice, I'm sick, so it's really like deep and raspy and weird right now, but also I'm not sorry because my voice sounds really deep and I'm like living for it. And following that, because I'm sick, I've been failing at the uploading every day for Vlogmas thing. I I I'm sorry. I, I'm kind of making no promises now because I'm sick and I'm starting to lose my voice and if I don't have my voice, I can't film, but I'll do my best. But now leading on to the fun part, today I'm going to be doing a Q&A because I got some questions through Twitter and Instagram. One more like I got all the questions on Instagram and, and one, one question on Twitter and these are, a lot of them are LGBT related because I posted, I'm doing a gay Q&A and you still ask me questions, they don't actually have to be gay, but they can be. And so I ended up getting a lot of gay questions because I said gay Q&A. But you know, I'm good at gay questions because I'm a professional gay, which which will get explained later in this video if, if you want to know. So let's do this. Also, are you guys enjoying like my cape right now? My, my gay cape? Because this is a flag I won from a contest on Instagram for a brand called Discriminate. Which, which, which are great, the not spawn at all. I just really like them and it came a couple days ago and I just love it so I figured it would be appropriate to wear it for this video. And also I've just been wearing it a lot as a cape and I'm probably gonna wear it to school tomorrow as a cape. But okay, first question is from, I have no idea how to pronounce the username, Selena, I'm sorry. It's my friend Selena, her username is Sospe, I don't know how to say that. A S O A C E B. So, sp I, I'm I'm sorry. And how did you come out to your parents? I've come out to them a, a lot of times. But we're going for the two big things, which is the liking girls and the not not being cis. So, when I told my parents I, I liked girls. Uh, I actually, I told my mom first, and it was, I was leaving my art class, and I was after telling my friends that I liked girls, and like my art teacher, I was really pumped up, and I was like, okay, it's time to tell my parents, I was like, mom, I like girls, after she like picked me up from art class, this was in grade 9, by the way, 2014, in the winter, because you know, that's what you do, you just, your mom gets from art class, and you're just like, mom, mom, I'm get, like, I'm not straight, and my mom hugged me, and was just like, no, you don't, sweetie, and I was just like, Oh no, this this is going great. And then we got to the house and I was in a very not good mood then because my mom had basically dismissed my sexuality. And she was just like, you can tell your dad if you want to. I told my dad and we were actually going to get in the car again to go somewhere. So we had a very awkward car ride and then being like, are you sure? You might just be being influenced by like Tumblr and the media. Like, I don't think you are. And I was like, I do, I, I, I am. I'm very sure I like girls. It's not Tumblr that's making me this way. It's, it's, just, it's just me. But over time, they've come a long way and they're very accepting of my sexuality and also my gender. And for my gender, it was more planned out and less rushed into because for my sexuality, it was like within a few weeks of realizing it, I was like, okay, I'm gonna tell my parents right now, which might not have been the best plan because I wasn't prepared. And then for my gender, I didn't tell them until months and months later. It was not a year. It wasn't like a year, but it was like lots of months, but less than a year after I realized that I told them and I was more prepared, but I was kind of winged it because I didn't plan in advance. I was just like, okay, now feels like the best night, but I did kind of like think about it a bit. And I was just like, Mom, Dad, I, I don't I don't think that I'm a girl. I'm not cis. I've been going by SJ for a bit, which you might have noticed, because that was when I went by SJ. So I told them, and they were just like, okay, then I, you're, this is going to take a while for us to adjust to. And, over, and it did take them a while, but now they're really great, and they called me their son, and he, him, and Sebastian. And, and it's great, they're doing great. So basically, I winged both times I came out to my parents, and I honestly would not really recommend winging coming out. It's, it's not the best plan, at least not to family. And like, people you're like, super close to, I would not wing it. Yet I wing it when I'm coming out all the time. And then Wolfie250 asks, best memory? This is kinda hard, especially since I have memory problems, but my best memory is more like a collection of memories. I can't narrow it down to just one, because there's, going to see Mariners Trench live. There is 
when my dad called me Sebastian for the first time. Uh, my first kiss. My first Skype call of Tate. My first Skype call of Caden. Meeting Jose. Meeting Levi. Meeting Reese. Going to LGBT group for the first time. Just, there's a lot of things. Like, when my dad ordered me a binder. There's just a lot of memories. There's so many more I'm forgetting. Just, I can't really narrow it down to one best memory. Because there's a lot of memories that are best memories in their own different ways. And then Brendan Beckwith asked, Why'd you steal my hairstyle? And do you have a queer role model? Okay, Brendan... I, I did kind of steal your hairstyle, but not intentionally, it just kind of happened. I didn't even realize it until you pointed it out. But you know what? I, I wore it better. Just like, no shade. I, I wore it better. And also, I've changed my hair now, so are, are you happy? It's, it's blue and short and nothing like yours. Just don't dye your hair blue or else you'll be stealing my hairstyle. And then, do you have a queer role model? I have a lot of queer role models, like... Caitlin Alexander, Ash Hardell, Jeffrey Marsh, Milo Stewart. Honestly, you, you Brennan, you're a great queer role model for me. Just, I, I have I have so many role models. My old youth group leader is a great queer role model. There's a lot of, like, queer people in my community who are great queer role models for me. There's just so, so many. And Festive Gay says, when did you first realize you weren't straight slash cis and what happened after that? Basically, tell a small story. It helps with the video, trust me. I, I do trust you, Austin. And, okay, so I've told a lot of times about when I realized I wasn't cis. So I'm going to go with when I realized I wasn't straight. Because, actually, and this is going to be the very first time, which was actually in grade 7 when I was 12. Now, I had discovered the song She by Jody Clark. And I'd been listening to it, like, on repeat. And I was, and I started dreaming about and thinking about kissing girls, and I liked it. And then I was shoveling snow one morning, and I was just like, if I keep on, and I started thinking about kissing girls again, I was like, okay, you, you de I was like, wait, okay, I definitely like girls, but I can't, like, I just can't do that. I'm Catholic, my parents, like, my friends I have, just no, can't like girls. I've got to repress that, like, I just, I can't. This is something I'm gonna push away and forget about and that was the first time I realized that I wasn't straight and you know that was kind of sad to think that that's what my first reaction was when I first realized that I wasn't straight but you know what it's also good to kind of like I don't even know what to word I want to use just realize seeing how far I've come from that to being so like out and proud and very, very queer and just proud of my queerness and not ashamed of it and not feeling bad and not trying to hide it. I just, I've come a long way and I'm proud of myself. And it's kind of sad to think about 12 year old me being like that. Like I need to give 12 year old me a hug. And then Big D the Christmas Queen said favorite animal. Uh, I don't know, right now I'd say cats cause honestly my cat Ollie is great and my aunt's cat Woof who's also kind of my cat because he's he's in our house and we live together is is great like they're just cats are very comforting and very nice and just they, they make me happy and help me when i'm anxious and just yes cats cats are very good and then ella wright asked why you're so glad you met me aka the reason why your official nickname is now the professional gay oh ella i'm also glad i met you just because you're amazing and great and really sweet and kind and funny but now, on to the story about why I'm the professional gay. I'm the professional gay because I, I just know a lot. Like, I'm the professional gay to a lot of people. But that's not my official nickname of Ella because just I know so much gay stuff and I'm honestly willing to, like, answer, like, any, like, gay question from my friends or really from anyone. So, first, L so at my LGBT group recently, Ella consulted me on if her outfit was gay enough for a gay off and the answer was yes her outfit plan was totally gay enough and then she got my number and she was just like she was just like it's okay if i like text you gay questions and i was just like go ahead i encourage it honestly like i'm a professional gay so like go for it and she's like i'm calling you the professional gay i'm putting that as your contact name and uh, and i'm just like okay then yes i'm officially the professional gay 
I think I told that story right. Ella, correct me if I didn't. But yes, I am the professional gay because I answer all gay questions for my friends, basically. And then Danny Dews says, on a scale of how to roll to flaming, how much gay? Totally flaming. Like, I am beyond flaming at this point. Like, I am, like, I don't even know what level. Like, it's past flaming. It is, like, inferno gay. And then Owen likes Pokemon a lot asked, on a scale of 0 to 10, what do you think are the chances I'm going to forget about group tomorrow? What Now, Owen is my friend from school, and he always forgets about LGBT group, which is the context for this. And, you know, I put it at, like, a 10, and technically it was a 10 this week because I had to remind you. But it actually ended up kind of being a 0 because you went to group. You, you actually, like, went to group. So, you know, good job, Owen. You managed to not miss another LGBT group. And then lastly on Twitter, my friend William asked me on a scale of 0 to 10, how much do you like tentacles? And like, 0 William, actually negative 10. William, get your hentai away from me, no. No. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the little Q&A. I don't know if I'm like good at Q&As, but I tried my best. And also my voice has been getting worse as this video goes on, so sorry. And also I'm loopy because I had to take a gravel. So this is just an interesting video, but I hope you enjoyed. And be sure to like and comment and subscribe. I will try to see you tomorrow, hopefully. And until next time, I was here. I'm still consistently queer. Hope this wasn't too medical or a video. Snazzy outro music. Snazzy outro music. Snazzy outro music. Please subscribe.